Hello weirdos, welcome back to my channel. I am a teensy bit frustrated because this is the second time I've had to film this video because the first time I filmed it, it came out all gross and grainy and I was editing it and I was like, I just cannot stand the way it looks because it looks horrible. So this is take two. Also, this is probably one of the last videos that I'm going to have my hair like this. I'm not saying it's the last, I have a bunch of pre-filmed videos that still have to come out. But yeah, I'm going to be donating my hair to Wigs for Kids. I, I have a lot of hair to donate. Um, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do yet. I think that's gonna be something that me and the stylist uh, talks about. So yeah, I am very nervous, but also very, very excited. Because it's just something that I like to do every like four to five years, because my hair grows really long. It's really, really thick. And um, yeah, just think donating is a good thing to do in general. So what are we doing this week? This week, we are going to be talking about my TBR for the Asian Readathon. This is run by Sydney, and she's been doing this for years, like four years now. And one of the twists with this is, it's a new twist, and I like the twist, and that it's every book that you read has to be from a different ethnicity within all of Asia, uh, if you read multiple books. So I usually like to do that. So I'm reading five different, I'm planning on reading five different books from five different um, authors. So let's cut the crap and get straight into the prompt. So the first prompt is read a book with an Asian author. And for this one, I went with Machine Hood by S.B. Divya. Um, this author is from India, is of Indian descent. And yeah, this is a sci-fi dealing with concepts like AI and machines becoming um, more and more relevant prevalent and relevant in our society. I don't really know much about that other than this book that I had my eye on because it was in the running for the Goodreads Choice Awards for science fiction and it was recommended to me by the Storygraph. So I'm very, very interested and excited to read this one. The next prompt is read a book featuring an Asian character who is a woman and or older. So for this, I went with The Veiled Throne by Ken Liu. Do not have my copy of it yet. It's coming to me on the 10th and I cannot wait. I am so excited. This is the third book in the Dandelion Dynasty books. And I am so excited. I've been loving every single one of the books. And this one, we are dealing with the two continents have met, have interacted and crossed. And there's been a giant war. To deal with the war, the one of the main characters from the last book has decided um, who is the princess, Dara. And she goes to this, uh, this, these invading people and is going to be married off to the, the son of like the ruler of like these tribes. And she consents to it. She was the person who like orchestrated it in the first place because she is a bomb ass diplomat. I love it. Yeah, so I think this book is going to follow lots of different things like the other two books have, but it's specifically going to be focusing on her journey. And I'm just so excited to it. And that's why it fulfills this prompt because it's an Asian character who's a woman. Ken Liu is of Chinese descent. So there you go. The next prompt is read a book with an Asian author that has a universe that we want to explore slash live in, um, or a universe that is different from yours. So for that one, I chose a book that I did not pick up. Give me a second. I chose Girls of Paper and Fire. This is by Natasha Nagan. I don't really know what this is about other than it's a Asian inspired setting. So automatically different from my white American experience. And I know there's like a harem thing involved and I know there are lesbians. It's about all you need for me to be interested. So yeah, I'm very excited about this one. I'm sure people have been hearing a lot about this um, on the internet because that is where I heard about this. I heard about it about people talking about it on booktube. And the author is from Malaysia. So that's this one. Ooh, I'm, I love all these choices. I'm very excited to get started on all of these. The next prompt is to read a book um, by an Asian author that has a cover work worthy of googly eyes. So what that means is that it's an interesting, visually appealing uh, cover. So for that I chose, which I mean, you could kind of argue that all of these fit into this, but like, I just wanted to read this book. So you'll see. 
book I chose is The Girl Who Fell Beneath the Sea by Ashie Oh, and Ashie Oh is um, of Korean descent, it's Korean, and this is based on a lot of like Korean mythology, and I think it takes uh, a story from Korean mythology and expands upon it. So it's going to give me the level of enjoyment that I enjoyed from Daughter of the Moon Goddess, I think, in that aspect of taking mythology and telling a story um, based on that mythology. <laughs> um, oh, gosh dang, I, I just love stories like that. Um, it's very, very, very in my sweet spot. I don't really know much of what this is about. Was this an impulse purchase? Yes, but I'm very excited to read this. <laughs> um, yeah, I honestly, part of my purchasing decisions was because of the beauty of the cover. And gosh darn it, isn't that just beautiful? I think it is. All right. The last book is for the prompt, read a book with an Asian author that has a high rating or was highly recommended. So for that, I chose The Black Tides of Heaven by J.Y. Young. I've also heard it different ways, but J.Y. is what this cover says. So we're going to say it right now for the purposes of this video. Uh, Yang is from Singapore and is non-binary. So I know there's trans elements in this. I don't know what they are because I it was recommended to me from the story graph, which is why it fits into this category. And because of that, I don't really want to know much going in because that's what I've been striving to do with all of those books uh, to mark my levels of success. <laughs> anyway, but I know this book follows two siblings who have been separated because of war and wind up on opposite sides of this war. I don't know anything else about this. Obviously then it is dis inspired by Chinese aesthetics. So yeah, there you go. That is my TBR for the Asian Readathon. Let me know in the comments down below, what did you choose? Um, have you read any of these books? And are you participating in the Asian Readathon? Let me know. I will see you next week, probably with my video for the books that I read in the month of April. I will see you next week. Bye!